Good luck to everyone. Remember to call your pit stops if you're making a green flag. Sorry about that, guys. I did not expect that. I did not expect that checkup on the inside line. I have a compete for my LMP2 to go get in after this for the more this green flag. Is that That was really stupid. Get in line, boys. Come on. Please call that out a little bit earlier there, Terrell. Clay, come on, buddy. Thought I had a little more room. My bad, buddy. That's a little sketchy. A little. It got tight, I'll tell you that, not the car. Is anyone capable of being pushed? Like, I can push, I just need someone up here. We're not going to get here if we're leaving a half car like between each other. We had it humming on the outside. Not quick enough. Speeds of excess of 20 miles an hour. It's going to get really exciting very quickly going into turn one. As we watch Carrington be the first driver, Carrington gets dumped by Banami. The leaders are winding up here at Daytona. The big one is out. Absolute carnage as everyone's going to come to a creeping stop. Carrington still getting destroyed. That is going to be it for half the field. Oh, turn one, turn one. That was my fault. Son of a oh. I don't know. If you're a left car, you if you stay up. Oh! Nick Taro gets hit. Here we go again. Steven Rex heavily involved, Nick Terrell involved. Uh, to whoever sent me a message uh, on the game, I can put wh whatever the I want. Uh, but I don't know, I think you don't know where the break off. Proctor goes three wide, oh, holds on to it. He's next to Zach Rogers and I believe Stinson. And just like that, here comes the carnage. And another good group of racers getting destroyed. Big one back stretch. I love when morons take it three wide for the in the last lap. That's just great. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Plenty of lanes to run through your wife here. I, mean, I don't know why that would be an issue. Nope. I have it well. Go past me. It's good. And we are going to get under green flag conditions this time by, and they're already trying to wreck, and just like that, they do so. Why am I getting an EOL? He decided it would be a better idea not to hit the gas on the start. I hit the gas. It's not my fault I got rear-ended. You know what? When we got to lap 70 and had that wreck or whatever, I didn't realize that that was actually the halfway point of the race. Dude, if you're staying out with destroyed cars, don't f*** the top five. I mean, we're running each other over trying to go, and no one can get up to speed because there's damaged cars in top five. What are we doing? Good race, guys. Really eating it through the grass. And an absolute great performance out on track here today.